Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Kathy Brock. Amen. And I am live. I missed y'all so much yesterday. Amen, amen. It was tough, but well, I had to go do some things. Good morning. Today is uh, July 18th. It's Thursday, y'all. July 18th, 2013, and 6 a.m. on the dot. Oh, yeah. Happy Thursday to you. Amen, amen, amen. Don't forget, today is your birthday. Hit me up on chat and let me know. We'll give you a shout out. Amen. Play the happy birthday rap and whatnot. I'll play a song I got in. Amen, amen. All right, y'all. Let's put the scriptures before our eyes daily. Did I say anything weird yesterday? Eh, I'll let you know about it later on. <laughs> I like seeing the weird stuff because most people don't know that it's weird and that it's strange and that, that we get to... We need to relax sometimes. Ain't nothing wrong with being relaxed, but sometimes, you know, things like not holding your child's hand when you're crossing a a busy street or in a parking lot, that drives me up a wall. But uh, I I saw some funny stuff yesterday, so (laughs) I love to see the funny stuff too. All right, y'all. So let's put the scriptures before our face daily. Amen, amen, amen. You know what I forgot to do? Which is, I, I just realized that I was doing this. I say good morning to the Lord in my private time, but and when I come on the show, I had stopped saying good morning to Him before I even spoke to y'all. So let's give it up to Him before we say these scriptures, because Jehovah is the source. Amen. He gave Himself His own name, and He named His child, His Son, which is Jesus. Jehovah, the word Jehovah, the name Jehovah means I see and I provide. I am that I am, the first and the last. I am the source. I have no savior. That's what his name truly means. So you don't have to do anything. You he's the provider. Put it like that. That that that's it. That that's the easiest way. Alright, so good morning, Jehovah. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God in the highest. All right, here we go. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. We got Mark 9, 23 that says, Jesus said unto them, if thou canst believe, that means if you can believe, all things are possible to him, meaning you, that believe it. I amen, amen, amen. And then we got uh, Psalms 147.3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Amen, amen, amen. John 16 and 13, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Bada ding, bada boom. Amen, amen, amen. <clears throat> all right. Um, dude, glory to God. Hallelujah. All right, so I'm going to do this first, and then I'll tell you something else. All right, here we go. Good morning, Jehovah. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. We hear from you, Lord God, and I led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comfort of the Holy Spirit who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We should keep your word in our hearts and minds. We shall love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. 
Thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against us, it shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, for it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord, for every mountain is moved and every clothes are blocked. Lord, it has hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus, we shall win every living soul and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God. Decreasing hell and expanding heaven, Jesus, we love you and believe in your saving grace. Thank you, Lord, for every soul and every person boldly confessing and professing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Receiving Jesus into their hearts. Amen. And living to glorify God. We're healed in our bodies and minds. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now. The hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband, made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. We decrease in unbelief in our minds and life. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are the beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love, not subject to temptation, submitting to your will, receiving your blessing in the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed, among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured dwellings and quiet resting places. God's people are the created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. God's people are meant to live according to God's world, the one man cannot see. If God be for uh, his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not, amen, God is for his people. God's people do not take the attitude of defeat. Those who accept defeat do not know who they are, know their position in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the heads and not the tails, above and not beneath, going forward and not backwards, the beloved and the sign of God will counter all joy. When we go up against the giant, we ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We as God's people stand on the word of God and all we believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us his people health and healing and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but by love and honor in the name of God's risen son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our Lord and Savior, a Amen. Amen. And uh, John 14 and 12, it says, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. A Amen. Glory to God. What a blessing. Amen. Amen. Woo-wee. Hot dog. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, y'all. So we got the altar call coming up in the last five minutes of the segment. And definitely music, music, and more music. And yesterday I was in a store and um I saw the cutest little baby. Oh, she was so cute. Oh my goodness. She was so cute. Oh, I love cute babies. Um and um her mom was carrying her and her dad was um had the other baby and he was pulling the cart. And uh all of a sudden he turned and he he I guess he saw something out of the corner of his eye and he turned and he looked. And then he looked back again, and he looked the third time, and he was about to say something to me. And all of a, I, now, see, I had just looked myself because I felt I was like, man, what is this presence I feel behind me? And I looked out of the corner of my eye. I was like, oh man. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, um, what was it? A gigantic spirit. I kid you not. Was it good or bad? Meaning, was it from God or not from God? I'm, I don't think it was from God. Um, just because of of the um, the voice and the uh, atmosphere that I could feel, it didn't feel like it was from God. But it was, it's just so weird. It was under some sort of order to protect me. Now, I don't rely on Satan to protect me at all. Not at all. He and I are not friends. Not at all. He belongs beneath my feet and everything that he controls beneath my feet. But occasionally, 
these things will pop up. And the only thing that I can think of is that um, I do have, um, I do know some people that do not follow Christ and they follow other things. And sometimes they will pray for me without my knowing, definitely without my requesting it. And sometimes these things will show up. Sometimes they show up and they wreak havoc. And sometimes they show up and they just scare the crap out of people. So remember. Um, if you see something like that standing behind me, it is not me doing it. God didn't send it. And have no fear, meaning uh, you trust in Jesus. Now, what does my angel look like? The angel that protects me. He's kind, he's gentle, and he only obeys the word of God. He, he obeys the word of God, and he will do as the body of Christ asks. But he will never do harm to anyone he'll protect but he won't he's God's angels are not malicious meaning they don't just go out and hurt people they will protect people you would actually have to come up and strike them to get them to strike you you literally you would have to strike them to get them to strike you or strike the person that they're protecting that's the only way that God's angels will attack you so um but they give warnings before they do it. Before you even attack, they already, they already know the intent of your heart. So they'll give you a warning. They'll tell you to back off. And sometimes they'll give you three warnings. And if you don't heed it and leave, then they'll attack. That's God's angels. But they never go out and attack first. Not ever. Alrighty, so there you go. So to the dude that saw that, man, you are not crazy. You saw what you saw. That was real. But that's just how it happens sometimes around me. Um, I don't always see them manifested in the flesh. I usually see things in the spirit first, which means in the unseen. I'll see it before it actually happens, or I'll hear it before it actually happens, which when I think about it, I did. But when it's not from God, I tend to ignore it. You know, resist the devil and he shall flee from you. That's me. So... But dude, you're not crazy. You're absolutely not crazy. You did see what you saw. So don't trip. If you have not given your heart to God, do so. And uh, keep on praising him. Amen. Here we go. Praise with all by Will E. Coleman. Yup. It's alright to give him praises. He loves the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him how great he is. sounds
good for everybody to hear. Ain't no reward without risk, and ain't nothing to fear. All you need is faith, all you need is fight. If you just stay within the script, you be quite alright. I just grabbed the mic and nails flip the beat. And when we brought it all together, it was something you need. Every word to speak, be a word from soul. And every night before I sleep, I pray I conquer my goal. Told my brother no foes, I played the hand I was dealt. To the haters laying low, hoping the secret I melt. I'm immune to the doubt, and I'm a killer to fools. I'm going in with no regard, cause I got nothing to lose. I was given the plan, perseverance and power. So I'd be damned if I retreat into a corner and coward. Man, you must be insane, my passion can't be contained. And I ain't asking for a lot, just trying to get in the game. Listen up if you will, I'm trying to tell you what's real. Only way to see a better day is up in your zeal. But you want me to kill the same woman you beat. Ain't you really kinda tired of being viewed as weak? Why I lose the peak when it's yours to have? Thanks to all the ones before that open doors and paths. I absorb the bad to be replaced with good. I'm trying to do the best I can to help save my hood. It's a real good day to get some growing. To plant a good seed to get some growing. Send them a letter. If your baby mama need it, go and give us some cheddar. Good deeds equal good seeds, sprouting up good trees. Many second guess, but this is exactly what the hood needs. A hard dose of the truth, I'm screaming from the booth. If you ain't trying to make a difference, go and tie the noose. Your life yours to make, you live, lose, and learn. Just know the path that you take determines what you earn. So plan firm and keep your grind steady. So when your chance come around, you be getting ready. You only live once, that's a true fact. So do the best before. Team Supreme is Ray Kells. We're trying to conquer the scene. Stress free, no worries. Sun shining when I wake up in the morning. I'm trying to focus, keep my mind up in the zone. And keep everything progressing, rising with a steady flowing. I know that there's no stopping me. Mind on my grind, so there's no blocking me. Prepare for the future. Amen, amen, amen. It is about that time, about that time to get the altar call. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. Amen. Jesus absolutely loves him. Some you, beloved, his love for you is 100%. Um, there's nothing you can do to earn uh, salvation or buy salvation. It's a gift. Uh, and Ephesians 2, 8, 9, it says, For by grace you have been saved. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And that's just the real deal. It's a gift from God. And it's yours for the, uh, yours for the receiving. All you got to do is believe and, uh, and receive. Make your prayer confession. Make it known. Amen. So here we go. Amen. If you don't deny God, He won't deny you. Amen. 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 So definitely, now is the time to give your heart to Christ. Let Jesus know you love Him, and that you want to spend an eternity with the Lord. Amen. Lord God Almighty, want to spend it with Jesus and His Father Jehovah. Here we go. Thank you, Lord, for uh, Holy Spirit for uh, surrounding those uh, that are called to be saved today and uh, giving them room to receive Jesus Christ into their hearts for rebuking the devourer that they may uh, stretch forth free freely receive Jesus Christ into their hearts alright so if you want to receive Jesus uh, repeat this prayer after me Lord Jesus I ask you to forgive me of all my sins I confess my sin before you this day 
I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart. I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, with the evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Go to uh, lutgradionetwork.com, click on the link, find a church. Go get uh, water baptized, take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class and tell them that you got saved. Amen. On LUTG Radio. Follow me to segment number two, which is my pace. Amen, amen, amen. We got more and we got some information for you for the cooling centers. It's supposed to be up to like 95 degrees in Chicago today. Amen, amen, amen. I'm dripping. I'm dripping, sweating. Uh, hopefully you don't hear this fan behind me, uh, but uh, yeah, I got the fan on. I don't have AC in this in this uh, new place, uh, but it's all good. Amen, amen. Believe with me for my house. Amen. It's debt free, central air, fully furnished, beautiful. <laughs> all right, uh, that comes from the Lord. Amen, amen. All right, y'all, so definitely I uh, want you to stay cool today. Drink plenty of water. Soda is not your friend when the heat uh, index is like 95 degrees and humidity is high. Soda is not your friend. It just makes you thirsty and sweaty and your sweat comes out sticky and hot. So you know it's going to be sticky and hot anyway. You know you don't need to be stickier and sugarier, attracting uh, mosquitoes and whatnot. So drink you plenty of water. Water is your friend today. Amen. Ice water, water. Ice water is better. But if you don't have ice water, just drink plain water. Amen. Stick it in it. You know, stick it in the. Get you a couple of milk jugs and stick it in the refrigerator now, full of water. Uh huh. You know those jugs you be using for Kool Aid? Yeah. Uh huh. Go ahead and stick that in the refrigerator. That's what I'm saying. All right, y'all. Follow me to segment number two. This is Kathy Brox for LUTG Radio. From a twisted perspective And I'm selected to investigate This let this faith demonstrate healthy vision Sending them my synonyms In a single soul synopsis Sending those boxes The collected box box yeah. I can't I'm tight living my life Yo, I'm living my life right Despite the negative hype Right to right, yo How you living uh, off the law? I found immorality In organically mastering the art Of capturing the now So how you living deep six? Deep six, freaking repeat beats Delete 